Hello everyone, what is up? I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. We don't know everything. That's just the hard truth people, we can't, we just don't know everything. We can't explain everything. And thanks for coming to my TED talk, that's the end of this video. Okay, no, <laughs> no, but for real, so many weird things take place on our planet and beyond that we simply just have no idea about. That's half scary but also half cool. That means we have a long way to go as a species in terms of figuring out what the hell is going on around us. So let's just get into it. This is the top 10 scary lights in the sky we can't explain. Starting us off number 10 is the swirl. I actually thought this one was completely fake because honestly, I thought things like that just happen in sci-fi movies and not real life, but I was pleasantly mistaken. On the 22nd of May 2010, photographers all around Western Canada started sending in their photos of the sky. That day, there seemed to be a huge swirling light in the sky and people were shook. No one had any explanations for it, but a similar pattern had been seen in Norway, but that one was caused by a Russian missile launch. So they speculated maybe that that was it. But the nearest one was the Vandenberg Air Force Base, but they were very quick to deny any missile launch on their part. Some people claim they also heard a loud bang after the pattern disappeared. To me, it looks like a time warp or portal opening, hopefully from aliens. Either way, I'm here for it, and if they need volunteers, I'm also here for it. Coming in at number 9 is the blood sky. Now I don't know what the signal of an apocalypse would look like, but the sky going red is pretty up there in my guesses. That's exactly what residents of El Chalchuapa and El Salvador saw back in 2016. Crimson light filled the sky for just a minute before fading away and leaving the sky a shade of pink. Funnily enough, a lot of people in the Christian population did actually believe it was a sign of an imminent apocalypse. Some have guessed the light was from the yearly meteor showers that happened there, but that can't be true since the blood red sky has never been seen before and the showers have. I mean, they happen every year. Others say the light could be a reflection off the clouds of fires made by sugarcane farmers. Either way, the sky was red, so let's just leave it at that. At number 8 we have the trail. I really don't know what to make of this one, so maybe you guys can help me out. Back in 2017, Phoenix residents saw an amalgamation of lights hovering in the sky. The lights were in various shapes and forms. They started off in a V shape, then it turned into more of a hook or candy cane shape. The weirdest part was the lights were moving upwards and they kept going higher and higher and they definitely weren't a type of aircraft. Residents described the lights movement as fluid, some of them became super bright, then dimmed to nothing and then came back brighter than ever. It was just a hodgepodge of lights that no one has been able to explain. So people really need to stop telling me that aliens aren't real. Thanks. Filling our number 7 slot is Steve. Who is Steve? What is Steve? Why is Steve? Let me tell you. A strip of light can be seen from the banks of Hudson Bay to British Columbia and scientists have no idea what this strip of light is. First they thought it could just be a lost aurora borealis, a comet's tail, maybe even a plane's contrail, but it turned out to be none of those things so they decided to just call the strip Steve. Now photos of Steve are stunning. They show him as a neon wisp of light but in reality he looks like a wisp of white light so faint that people did originally think it was a plane's contrail. Thanks to photographers and their slow shutter speeds, we can see its true pink, purple, and green colors, and that made it clear to scientists it was self illuminated and not lit from below like a normal contrail. Many people thought it was a proton aurora, but that's not it either. And I know you're wondering about the whole name. So, Steve was inspired by the movie Over the Hedge, which was actually really cute and really good. I saw it ages ago. These animals see a giant row of shrubs, and one says, I would be a lot less afraid of it if I just knew what it was called. Then a squirrel goes, let's just call it Steve, it's a pretty name. And voila, from there we have Steve the Strip of Light. Now at number 6 are the loops. Now the video of this really freaked me out because it's so clear that it's something that we haven't caused. It was the strangest yet coolest video I've seen on this list. In November of last year, residents of Gloucestershire witnessed lights moving and circling in the sky. From the video you can see the light so clearly making loop after loop and then disappearing. It comes back in flashes or all together and it leaves behind red marks. The light then splits into two beams of light and then both beams just start moving perfectly parallel. At one point one beam is flashing while the other one isn't. It's just so strange but so mesmerizing to watch. I was literally sat there for 10 minutes like 
And of course, no one knows anything about the lights, what they are, why they were there, and what their source is, which is just brilliant. But funnily enough, that's not the only weird thing that's happened in Gloucestershire. There was also a giant orange glow or haze in the sky that people also had no explanation for. Gloucestershire residents, what are you doing? Coming in at number five is the green light. And this one literally happened in December just now, so it's quite the fresh news story. In Western Australia, locals were stunned when during a super intense thunderstorm, they saw a strange green light appearing, accompanied by an unexplainable sound. Even experts were like, what the hell is that? They'd never seen anything like that before. The Bureau of Meteorology said the light definitely wasn't part of the storm, and their best guess is that it was a reflection of something on the ground. Locals in other areas said they also saw the green light, but with no rain or thunder. They just saw the light flashing for a good hour. I mean, flashing green light in the sky, I don't think that's ever been good. I'd really like out of this episode of Black Mirror right Right now, please, thank you. At number four is the fireball. This one actually happened right here in Toronto, and a lot of these have actually taken place in Canada, to be fair, so I'm kind of worried now. But anyway, six months ago, people in the city saw a fireball shaped light in the sky above Lake Ontario. Reports started coming in at around 11 pm, and the fireball stayed where it was for two hours. It disappeared for 10 seconds in that time and then came back with hanging smoke around it. People thought it was a meteor, but it wasn't moving, it was just hovering. In footage and pictures, it almost looks like the sun except at night. Police have said it could be because of flares used to find a missing boat earlier in the day or the Hercules plane that was called in to help the search. I feel like that's a totally viable explanation about what happened, but everyone in Toronto was going ape shit like oh my god a fireball in the sky, oh my god the sun is out at night, what is happening? You feel me? Filling our number three slot is the key question mark. And my weirdness will make sense to you guys very quickly, don't worry. The setting is San Francisco, December 2018. Residents were on their way home from work or their 6 pm yoga class when they saw a strange light in the sky. It was a lot brighter than a normal cloud, especially in the evening. Witnesses thought it was just a weird formation. They saw a light and then the light started to form a shape. Some people thought it looked like a key and others thought it looked like a question mark. A lot of people believed it was a UFO sign, but at this point, anything weird can happen in the sky and people will just think it's aliens trying to contact us, me included. <laughs> Scientists have speculated it was a bolide meteor with compressed air around it, but no one knows for sure. Now at number two are the blue jets. This one is the coolest one on the list, I feel it just looks like something out of Avatar. No, actually they look like lightning going upwards, like just imagine the shape of a leafless tree in the winter except they're blue and they're coming out of the atmosphere. So no one get that image but me? Fine. Okay, I'll leave it. Now these are scientifically called upper atmospheric lightning and that is basically a family of short-lived electrical breakdowns that take place above the altitudes of regular lightning. Scientists think they're induced by forms of luminous plasma, but the blue jets are still a mystery. Now the first issue is that they're blue, and blue atmospheric phenomena are really hard to study from below because the atmosphere is really good at scattering blue light. If that's not bad enough, blue lights are just super narrow and rare in general. Scientists think perhaps they form when a thunderstorm gets super tall and pierces into the thinner layers of the atmosphere above, but they don't know for sure. I didn't even know thunderstorms could go upwards, actually. Well, good to know. Regardless of how they form, they're insanely cool to look at. Imagine you were looking at it from space. How cool would that be, just coming out of the Earth like that? And finally, at number one are the Phoenix Lights. This case was a massive back in the day. In 1997, thousands of people saw what they thought were UFOs in the sky. In the skies of Arizona, Nevada, and Sonora, between 7.30 and 10.30 p.m., two events took place. The first was a triangular formation of lights passing over the state, and this one is the shadiest. There's only a handful of images of the first event, only one person had a detailed video of it and what appears to be a spacecraft but the video had mysteriously just been lost. The second event is the one everyone has pictures of. In the second incident, a series of lights spaced out at regular intervals would appear, stay illuminated for a while and then disappear. The most popular recording of this is an arc of lights appearing one by one and then going out one by one. Ufologists believe they were some type of running light along the edge of a large spacecraft. Many people People say they saw a craft hovering quite low and that it looked like canisters of swimming lights with an underbelly that looked like water. Alien technology is just so much better than ours is actually quite sad, I'm not gonna lie. The first event has no explanations whatsoever, but the second sort of does, well, if you believe it. The US Air Force said the second event was because of slow falling long burning illumination flares dropped by a flight of four aircrafts. And that is probably the reason the second event did occur, but I don't know, they could have easily just lied about it to keep the public's UFO speculation at bay because they just don't want us to know about these things, so believe what you want, folks. 
And that does it for today's video guys. I hope this made you question everything you see in the sky from now on because that's exactly what it made me do. Have you guys ever seen something weird in the sky? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like every time I think I've seen something weird in the sky they're just plain contrails and I'm like that's just great. So I really can't talk and I think I'm just gonna stop now. So I've been your host Eamon Hassan and I'll see you next time. Bye!